to the channel. So this is a video that I've been thinking about doing for quite a while and kind of been putting it off. But my bride is off to the beach for the weekend. She doesn't even know I'm doing this, but this is a house review. So we've been in the house about two and a half years. I think last June was two years. So I kind of wanted to give a review of what we thought about the house, what we think about the house, the issues that we've had, which haven't been super significant, but I thought I'd talk about it and give my thoughts on it in case you're thinking about a manufactured home. They've come a long way, obviously, but there's still some considerations to think about if you're doing it. Uh, this home is, depending on what part of the country and where they are in the change of their name, uh, when we purchased it was Palm Harbor Homes. Uh, they also go by Homes, Homes Direct, I think it is. So anyway, I think they're across the country anyway, in a lot of states. So um, hopefully this will be helpful. The videos that we did on it arriving here uh, were pretty popular. So I thought it was about time I do a review. Granted, it's not about tractors, but I thought uh, some folks might find it interesting. So this is the farmhouse model. And so you can see a lot of the amenities that kind of have that rustic appearance. Uh, that's the way it came for the most part. We made a few minor changes and I'll talk about those. Uh, early on in the channel, there is a tour of the model when we were looking at this home. So if you're super interested, you could go way, way back in my videos and take a look at that before we had all our stuff in it. So anyway, hope you enjoy it. And here we go. So one of the things that we're really looking for when we're looking for a home is an open floor plan. So I kind of tease my wife about this one because it's basically, I told her it's a kitchen surrounded by other rooms. Uh, it's a pretty open uh, kitchen, it's a big kitchen. So she really likes it. She's able to get a lot of things done in here and it's kind of cool. So it does have a big, huge island in it. I want to say it's probably 10 feet long, maybe, maybe eight feet, I don't, I don't know, anyway. Um, so she really likes that. One of the things that she did add was the uh, pot filler. Uh, we did add that. So, and we do use it for canning and when we're doing pasta and so on. So that's kind of cool. So that brings me to the, one of the first things that drove us crazy about this home is this exhaust fan. So when we turned it on, it was super loud. It's basically, several sheets of metal, right, going up, and they were all just banging against each other. And of course, we brought it up to the installer, because they, you know, the Finnish people, and they're like, yeah, that's the way they come. Uh, so one of the first things we did early on is we I climbed up on the counter and took the entire thing apart and handed all the pieces down to my wife. We laid them all out on the counter, basically insulated those parts of the metal that touched each other to keep it from making near as much noise. It's still loud, but it's primarily the blowing that is loud now versus the metal clanging. So that was pretty annoying and uh, that was a fix that we needed to deal with. The other thing is these shelves, I forget what they call them, but these shelves that are behind us, you know, they were up during transport of this unit to our house and it was like a two hour or more drive that they drug this bad boy up here. And so they were kind of cattywampus. I had to take them off and adjust them. And we still have things fall off occasionally when we're reusing the fan because of the vibration and because they're just not perfectly aligned and set up right. Uh, I guess you can kind of expect that. The other thing is with regard to the cabinets, I mean, you're not gonna get the highest quality cabinets. A lot of the drawers and cabinets don't line up perfectly. And you know, that's just kind of how things go. I have had to make a couple minor repairs on drawers and we had to add cabinets to the pot drawer. They, we selected pot drawers where you could put all your pots in. 
we had to add magnets to the bottom to keep them shut because of course they wanted to roll open once you start putting weight in them. So that was interesting. Not a huge deal, but little things like that. Another thing that bugs me in the kitchen area is part of this farmhouse model is these beams. And you can see these two seams that are right on the end of them, uh, basically, you know, right to the, I mean, they could have, they could have got purchased, obtained boards that were long enough to just make it a solid beam. Obviously they're hollow, but I had to go up there and kind of patch them a little bit to make them a little more realistic, even though they're totally not. But that was somewhat annoying. Uh, we love the windows. We have a great view out of most of our windows. And so these are awesome. We did add our own uh, fixture in the kitchen. This is the barn door that heads into the pantry area in the office. One of the things that we uh, had to deal with is this is the seam of the house. So it had to be patched twice and it still doesn't look right, but it's as good as it gets from my understanding. All right guys, so this is kind of our office slash pantry area. And excuse the clutter, I'm on uh, puppy duty, so there's uh, a lot going on when you got a puppy in here. If you head uh, through the office area, pantry area, then you end up in the laundry room. And, you know, we have a kind of a secondary fridge back here. And this is also our back door. It's also kind of our wet porch kind of thing. So not a whole lot to it, but you get the idea. All right, so walking out from the kitchen, like I said, excuse all the uh, puppy apparatus. We do have a gate going right now to kind of keep her corralled. We did add this uh, third window Unfortunately, I can't show you the view right now because it's just a bunch of sunlight, but uh, we can see the trees. Recently added the wood stove. I did do a video on that. Not a very popular video, by the way, but uh, I do a video. So another issue is this seam here. So you can see the seam going across the ceiling. We had that repaired once after it cracked and it cracked again and they basically told us that that's just how it is unless we want to add a beam or do something different so uh, when you get some settling you're going to get some cracks there's another one here on the wall there's a few places where it's where it's cracked but for the most part we've been pretty happy with it and then the uh, troublemaker hey troublemaker all right, so coming out of the living room down our short little hallway here, we have, I guess, what you call the guest bath or the main bath. And show one with the shell beach kind of theme. Uh, anyway, uh, biggest complaint with the bathrooms is the toilets were just horrible. Uh, you had to flush them like three times and make things happen. So I swapped both of those out, but otherwise, bathroom's cool. We did add this drawer set because that was just an open space under the vanity. Sorry, nothing too fancy going on here. This is just kind of our extra room, our guest room or whatever. It does have a closet that we use as a pantry. And then if you have a crafter or a knitter in your family, then this would be the knit room. And this is her craft room and it's all crafty <laughs> so um but it's got a lot of a lot of her crafting stuff in here and it also has a small walk-in closet as well all right so the final phase uh to the master and nothing too fancy here it goes into our bath, which is pretty good size. It's got the dual vanities, although they did get the countertops wrong from what we ordered. Has a, a separate toilet, 
uh, walk-in closet that we both have our dressers in. We just don't need that much space. And then a um, walk-in shower, which we added versus the tub. So that's pretty much how that lays out. I guess the only thing I would say about here that went wrong was that we asked for the shower head to be on the end of the shower and they missed that in our request. But overall, we're pretty happy with it. Hopefully you can hear me with that air going. We have a little window air conditioner. Just turn that on. Anyway, that's the tour. Uh, overall, we've been pretty happy with the home. I think I mentioned uh, most of the stuff. Probably the biggest issue was that seam crack in the ceiling that they simply said they couldn't fix. So at some point I may end up building a hollow beam and covering it or whatever. Uh, I think it's gotten about as bad as it's gonna get. And it's just somewhat annoying uh, that they didn't build enough structure under it that they can keep the sheetrock from, from expanding and cracking there. Um, but I would say overall, the home has held up pretty well. We did upgrade the carpet as well, which I didn't really want carpet, but my bride did. So we did get carpet, we did upgrade it. We've had it cleaned once. Uh, the carpet cleaner said it was in great shape. It's held up pretty well considering that we're dog people. What can I tell you? I mean, we did find a few blemishes in the linoleum after the inspection period that we missed during the inspection. So if you're gonna get one of these, make sure you inspect all the flooring very closely because we missed several little nicks and spots uh, that we sh probably should have caught. Uh, also, we elected to have the fan fixture boxes in the living room and in the master so we could put fans in so we did put both of those uh, costco we bought them at costco they're hunter fans and they run by their remotes and they they work well haven't had any issues that way can't think of anything else to tell you overall i think when we purchased this home it was about 119,000. that was minus a few of the changes that we did which was the shower there was just a standard tub and shower in the back and then uh, one of those garden tubs and we opted for the walk-in shower so we that was additional cost we added spigots two spigots on the outside and two outlets on the outside those were additional costs maybe it came with one i don't remember uh, we actually ordered more than that as far as outlets go but they missed that uh, we added the extra window in the living room that was an extra cost. We added the uh, filler spigot over the stove. That was extra cost. We went ahead and uh, opted for no appliances and bought our own appliances. So oh, I think those are the only changes we made. Uh, upgraded the carpet, said that already. So hopefully this is informative, helpful if anybody has any questions or considerations. I definitely wanted the tall ceilings. I think it makes it feel less like a manufactured home. And uh, my wife wanted the carpet. So we kind of came to terms with both of those things. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, anything that I missed that you're curious about, well, the other thing we added on the sheetrock, we added the round corners on the sheetrock when we ordered it. So that was an additional thing. I think she's falling asleep on me. I think she's irritated with me because I was moving around and talking and not to her but anyway thanks for checking out the video i appreciate it hope you found it interesting uh, please excuse uh, the mess like i said we're running with a puppy right now plus uh, my bride was not informed of this idea regarding uh, doing a video on the house so anyway thanks for stopping by i appreciate it and we'll talk to you soon